Coming up in this episode, we get sucked into the giant whirlpools of French Pass. That scared the hell out of me, Luke. Lost control. Luke got sucked over to the yeah, rocks. Did. Down that whirlpool. And we dress up like idiots and shake hands about it. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Good morning all. Today it's currently Wednesday 6th of March 2024 and we're going to take you through the sailing plans for today. So we are currently anchored in Bulma. Right, this is New Zealand, North Island, South Island. We are here. The marble sounds. We're currently anchored in Bulma. Yesterday we moved from City Bay, which was in here, 10 mile motor to here. And today we're going to be going through the French Pass, which is just here. Sorry, but the line is a bit off there, but either through the French Pass here, to possibly a bay down here to anchor up, or we could, if we don't go through the French Pass, we can anchor in here, this bay here, or there's other places to go to. It depends what the wind's like today and everything like that. Um, basically, it is 20 miles to the French Pass here and 33 miles if you want to go further and anchor up down by here. Okay, the weather today, I won't go through windy because it's pretty benign. We basically haven't got much around at all this morning and then sometime this afternoon it's going to be filling in from pretty much the north here. Anything from 5 to 10 knots if we are lucky. Absolutely beautiful morning, but last night it was cold. Approaching, just approaching French Pass here. Um, it's slack water, I think it was about half an hour ago, so it is starting to run with us. This way with us now, probably about three or four knots already. We just passed over a little shelf here, which is about 13 meters. And now we're gonna go into a big hole in the middle of here. It's 109 meters deep in the middle. You can imagine all that water coming off the shelf, going down the hole and then shallowing up a little bit as it goes through the pass. It creates a lot of turbulence. See, a little bit of turbulence. We've got to go through these two. There's a little lighthouse on the end and a little light tower there. To the starboard side of the light tower is reef. So we need to go through there and then to our port to follow the channel because there's more reef further up there. Let's see what's happening in the cockpit. What's happening in the cockpit, Look. 50 metres. 50 metres depth. Dropping. It was 20. 55. Go into that hole now? Yeah. Yeah, there's the hole. 100 metres. You got this, Look, Have you got it? 103. Jesus points. Yeah, it's just literally nothing there, it's a reef there. Yeah. That's 
said you've got to go in here and then go up to the port side. Suction. <laughs> yeah. That scared the hell out of me, look. Lost control. It looked like I sucked over to the drop yeah, rocks. Is. Down that whirlpool. Yeah. Big whirlpool, we're in right in the middle of it. We'll do it again. Whoa. It says seven meters, but I know we're deep. Oh my god, this is so weird. 60 meters deep it is. Look at the whirlpools. <laughs> the boat got thrown around so violently then. Yeah. Pulled the keel over. Pulled the keel right over. <laughs> wow. That's mad. Still motoring. Um, it's only half past three in the afternoon and we decided to carry on to Napier, uh, not Napier, Napier. Oh dear, where are we going? Nelson. Nelson? Yeah, Nelson. We just <laughs> decided to carry on to Nelson. It's about 17 miles there. Uh, that direction. Just about see it coming into distance. Well, around there and down into the corner is a big city. I think it's a city anyway. Excuse me if I'm wrong. Yeah, should be there by about seven o'clock tonight. It's pretty good. Just motor sailing. There's hardly any wind out here at all. But we're taking the opportunity to do some washing. Sweet 
barbecue flavour. On the approach, oh, in the meantime, we've got a trawler here just getting the fish or whatever he's doing there. Can't really see. That's cool. Anchor where this boat is, but we're not. We're to the side of him. We're okay here. There's not a lot of space here because it's very shallow when that tide goes out. We'll be okay here for tonight. We'll put 22 meters down the floor. It's fine. It's mud. There's no wind. We can easily. I'll sand is it. Tomorrow at low water, we can easily just have a little goosey gander and boat around and just scout out the area at low water to see where we can move to. But we should be okay here. It's boat for in the way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is where we wanted the anchor. That's where that boat is. Yeah. That was our anchor in spot. It was. He stole it. Stole it. Yeah, Take the dinghy into there, see, into the marina. We want to be as close as we can to the marina. We're okay here. Yeah. Yeah. There's a couple of mooring balls. I know, I've seen it. there's loads of moorings there. Anchor dug in really well, did look well done. Bit straight away. Thank it you. bits even without reversing it just bit. Yeah, Every it time. It did, yeah. And then when I reversed it didn't move, did it? Didn't move, no, it went really taut and didn't move. It's such a fantastic anchor. <laughs> I keep going on about it. Anyway, I'm gonna settle down now because I'm tired. We're off into the city to explore Nelson! I'm gonna say Napier then, again. This is where we are, anchored just down here. Yeah. There. Oh, they're massive. Look at how big they are until you get close like this. Crazy. Grind that look. Yeah, I'm a pro one. skater. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a seven crossing. No, it's it? like a race, isn't it though? Go! Go, 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 go. Ready? We'll get lasered now in a minute. Lovely local park. Beautiful. So lovely, city. lovely. Well looked after. Trees. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, it's lovely. Find lots of parks like this in New Zealand. They really look after their parks and cities and towns and seafronts with all the barbecues and everything. They look after their people here. Nice high 
Good. Lovely. We've got hanging flower baskets. All over the place. It yeah. just makes it nice. Yeah. We have our pies and things. Oh no, from the well. In the second hand shop, and look at this. How old this is? Remington. I'm gonna get in it. How do you charge it? I need a new shaver. I don't know. It's so heavy. I can't believe how heavy it is. Must have old lead acid, lead acid batteries in it. Yeah. Very cool. Easy. You need a new one, don't you? <laughs> yeah, I do. Is that what it is? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sent to New Zealand. Ooh. We made it to the south side of New Zealand, even if we didn't sail all the way down. Yeah, yeah. the centre. Yeah. In between both islands, isn't it? Right in the middle. Yeah. 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 Oh! It's a cat! Yellow. <sighs> yeah, no. Do we know this cat? No. <laughs> Stuff, yeah, we bought some rain suits because we're absolutely sick to death of just getting hammered and wet in the dinghy. We bought some uh, proper little poncho, not poncho, rain suits to wear so we don't get absolutely soaked all the time in our uh, bathtub, which is quite frankly a mess. It's falling apart, yeah. The floor is falling apart in it. We've repaired the puncher in the front a couple of times, still keeps going down, and now, now one of the valves are leaking. Oh dear, she's nearing the end of her life, look. Luke's found a new friend. Oh, so fluffy. <laughs> yes! <laughs> 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 mental. It's blowing an absolute gale out there and there's massive waves. Discussing a long time going to our savings a little bit and buying a new tender. Uh, might have, we'll do some investigation, but uh, this is not really safe. It's so small. See how small it is? I think some of these waves are big. We got a guy this morning looking at us. We were coming in in waves. And he just stopped what he was doing, he was absolutely standing, and then he went into a bush, got his phone camera out, and started filming from a bush. I turned around and waved and he stopped. We get this reaction all the time. It's because the tender, being a 2.3 meter, is just way too small. Uh, just started and we're already getting wet. God, it's windy. So bad out there. Moment of truth. How dry am I? Absolutely bone dry. Come back to this. What a terrible, terrible anchorage. Was the only one here. Massive waves blowing 36 knots. Look at the waves are so big.
as you can see, there's quite a lot of fetch all the way down there. It's a couple of miles, but there's nothing we can do. There's no other safe place to go. It's, uh, it's really a lot of bounce here, but uh, it is what it is. We've got the chain around the Samsung post and the cleat there, just in case the snubber brakes is blowing 28 38 knots here at the moment i'm literally leaning into the wind you've actually gone out and bought a brand new tender to replace that <laughs> bathtub yes this tender is actually ours how amazing is that how beautiful it is absolutely so different we've gone from the 2.3 to 2.7 and this 2.3 is absolutely massive it's like driving a bus yeah. and it is so much faster drier safer and more comfortable it's amazing yeah i never knew it'd be so faster i will we'll show you the the video of me going round the boat i'm literally nearly the boat's on the plane with me in it i'm doing about seven or eight knots before we're going to do about three because I think it was shaped like that because too too heavy for us. It's too, too heavy for them. <laughs> it's like in it. Yeah. <laughs> it's unbelievable the difference. this pen tender different to our other one it hasn't got a slated floor in there it's got a pumped up air floor which keeps it nice and rigid and it's got a, a keel underneath which helps it plane and helps for turning and stability it's just a lot drier it's wonderful isn't it absolutely lovely look at that insane the storm of pushed wood and stone, stone all the way up here, look, all the top. So this brake walk starts all the way up there and it goes all the way down here and it went as far as the eye could see. And then the only entrance into here, I believe, was over that side. There was an entrance going in next to a big rock, very, very tidal. You couldn't really get in in low water. But what they did years ago is blow a hole in this sea defence with dynamite just past that lighthouse over there to create easy access to coming in and out here. I suppose when they'll build all the shipyard and stuff. Crazy to think that, isn't it? Crazy. There's Atlas just there. Beautiful there. It's a lovely anchorage, but as you've seen on this week's video, there's a lot of wind that runs up and down here. Yeah. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the open ocean. Fully reefed down the mainsail now. Could control our heel and speed with the Genoa. Be a full moon tonight. If you enjoyed this week's episode, please don't forget to give us a like, subscribe, and share. It really does help us out if you share the video. Thank you very much. And the biggest of thank yous in the world to our amazing, fantastic club members for making this adventure possible. We are in New Zealand, we're halfway around the world, thanks to all our amazing club members on Patreon. Yes, thanks to you, we've got a beautiful new tender. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. <laughs>